I really didn't know that this recipe was so easy to make. Today let's make the legendary mutton rogan josh and if you love mutton just as much as me ye recipe bhi aapko deewana bana dega kuch chopping karne ki zarurat nahi hai and sari cheeze ban jati hai ek pressure cooker ke andar it took me just 1 hour to make this beautiful dish and i was actually having a very grumpy day but this recipe brought a smile back on my face and ek baar khaoge to zarur kahoge aaj se ye roz banega so as i said ingredients are really simple i've shared a complete detailed recipe in the description for you all to try remember Get good quality mutton. Mutton with the bone is preferable. Boneless. If you use it, then add some bone pieces. Add it. The gravy has a flavor. And yes, this is going to be made in a pressure cooker. If you're looking for a good pressure cooker, this is a Stahl Express cooker. It's made with triply stainless steel. It's a very wide body, hai, which is just perfect for making a variety of different recipes. I love cooking biryani in this as well. If you wish to shop for this or any other cookware, I've shared some more details in the description, so please check it out. So let's start off with the mustard oil. And after adding the mustard oil, you need to follow one crucial. So we're gonna get this really nice and hot, smoky. Oh, jana chahiye. As you can see, ekdam doha utra isse. Why are we doing this? Because this smoking up and letting the oil really heat up nicely helps reduce the pungency of the mustard oil. After this, we're gonna let it cool down a little bit and then add our whole spices. But just taking away some of it helps in making sure the other ingredients kind of stand out instead of just the mustard oil. It is also said that heating this up and then letting it cool and then cooking with it helps neutralizing some of the harmful compounds of mustard oil. So as you can see, it is smoking really nicely. I'm gonna let it cool off and then I'm gonna add in all the whole spice. Fry this for 30 seconds and, and then goes in the fresh ginger garlic. Paste. I recommend that you make the ginger garlic paste at home because the store bought ones will just ruin the dish. Try this for a couple of minutes it's on medium low heat. Then goes in the mutton and iski bunai achche se karenge. Fry this for at least four to five minutes. The pinkness will go away and will start to brown a bit. And as you can see, some of that fat will start to render as well. At this point, we're going to add all our spices. Very important, Kashmiri chili powder. Try to use this. It is not very spicy, but it's added more for the color as well. Then goes in some coriander powder, some fennel powder or soft powder, and lastly some ginger powder. Mix this up really nicely. Make sure the spices cook. You can also season it well with some salt. Next thing I'm going to add is some hing which I've just mixed with some water. Add this and just keep cooking this for a couple of minutes. Finally after this we're going to add the tomato puree. Now I'm using packaged tomato puree because the color is just deeper and better. But if you can't find it just blend a couple of tomatoes and you can use that as well. After adding the puree we're just going to cook this for at least 3 to 4 minutes. And then it's time to add the whisk yogurt. Here's a tip on that too. It's time to add the yogurt. Now remember while adding this, reduce the heat. Ek dam low heat par thoda sa thanda hone dije and then add the yogurt. So the heat is lowered. I'm gonna spoon in all that dahi. Just mix everything up. Make sure it incorporates with that masala. And each step of this just made me feel hungrier. Mujhe bhook bahut lagne lagi ye bante bante. And gravy ki consistency jo hai, don't make it too thick. It needs to have a little bit of body. Now just place the lid and let it whisk. So how long do you have to cook it? So one whistle on high heat. As soon as you hear that whistle, lower the heat to the lowest. Ekdam low heat pe. And just let this cook for about 25-30 minutes. I'm approximately waiting for about 6 to 7 whistles on really low heat. By then the mutton will be really nice and tender. So give it time to cook and you go do whatever you have to do. So we got our first whistle on high heat and I've set a 20 minute cut timer and in that 20 minutes this had about 5 to 6 whistles. After that just depressurize it and when you open this the aroma is to die for. You'll see that lovely rogan just floating over there and the mutton has just cooked beautifully. And before you eat it just let it rest for 5 minutes. Place the lid and just let it rest on the side for 5 minutes before you eat it. The flavor will just get better and that's about it. That's how easy it is to make rogan josh at home. As I said the detailed recipe is in the description so please do try it out. If it's done, I'll eat it. I'm going to enjoy this and I'll see you guys later. Bye.